Float Conference 2020, the virtual edition, welcomes you. Thank you for being here. This community may be one of the most interesting, most creative, and most heartful that there could be. This could be in part because of the fundamental experience at the heart of this industry, this business, this community. At first float, I thought, now this is interesting and engaged in a continued exploration, scientific, philosophical, and creative exploration of the phenomenon. I certainly know that I am not alone in that it has fostered this community and given impetus to so many to undergo the stressors and the rigors of opening centers, conducting research, engaging in therapeutics, and seeking the enhancement of consciousness, wellness, This essential experience has been examined in multiple ways. We are learning how to use it, but like consciousness, it escapes complete definition. It can be experienced. It can be deeply felt, but not harnessed. It is profound, yet ephemeral. Like the Tao, it could be that which is inexplicably generative in its very nature. It could be the wellspring of creativity. It seemingly creates an expanded moment in which the mind's orienting certainties become fluid, even that of our self-identity. This experience is supremely subjective, deeply relaxing. It decreases stress and anxiety. It increases creativity and it triggers a process of recovery that is both mental and physical. We know of the float experience as a wellness practice. This growing perception of a wellness index as a benchmark of any population. In its beginning, and increasingly, it is also a wisdom practice. It enhances our perception, which can lead to the transpersonal, the altruistic, and the eco-spiritual. What is? this experience. It moves through us. It knows no encumbrance. When contained, it becomes the container. When explained, deconstructs meaning. It is difficult to see. It is mostly felt. It hovers between attraction and withdrawal mediating difference as unity. It rides the sound of waves, the sound of spontaneity like children playing. It embraces root, it helps to form core. It is best expressed through the heart. In practice, it is sometimes embodied. Its continual reemergence defines creative coherence. Sometimes it escapes through the eyes, in a smile, in words. And we gather to listen and to feel those words the words of our speakers, intelligent, insightful, learned, hopeful, 
spiritual. We have a great lineup of speakers for you this year. Old friends and colleagues, new great minds and hearts, those who are well known and those who should be more well known. We live on a planet that is both beautifully and terrifyingly interconnected. In coming together, we become interconnected. We are creating a new interweaving of experience and becomings here. We are becoming enhanced, maybe becoming wiser. And so, let us begin again. <laughs>